here is the most delicious fruit salad ever, specially engineered for 4th of July, 2023. because it's easy, it's delicious, and it's not a diet salad, right? But that is one of the reasons we're here. And while we make this, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. So, first of all, this salad is an ambrosia salad, and it is delicious because it is not fat-free. So this one has eight ounces of cream cheese, which should be whipped first along, um, once you have it to room temperature. And this cream cheese, you mix with another eight ounces of whipped cream so you can get some nice consistency. But you can use any kind of whipped cream. I actually like to just mix my own heavy cream because it's delicious. But I also get to use the not real sugar for the pre-diabetic stuff. A lot of people complain about our country, but I'm gonna tell you a secret that some of you already knew and some of you do not. Aya was actually born in Mexico. And while I love my country, <clears throat> the heritage and all the beautiful traditions that are involved with it, when I was a child, my mom and I was my siblings came here when I was eight. And I do miss some aspects of it but I will tell you there's nothing like the USA. Uh, when I came here, I learned a different culture, a different language, a different way of life. Everything was different. And after I was here and I left and went to Germany and spent multiple years there, I was able to see their culture and different countries near there that I realized just how great this country is. And no matter where you're at, for all the people that complain about our country, there's hundreds of thousands of people that would give their lives to be here. So never take that for granted. Um, when I was a kid, I remember my mom working day and night. Literally, she had a night job in Mexico. And every time she had a chance to take additional hours, she would because we needed it. Um, Coming here to the U.S. may change our lives in a way that I couldn't even explain to you unless you knew just the entire story. But I want to tell you, God bless America because there is nothing like it nowhere in the world. No other country will afford you opportunities and a life that people only dream about. You think your life is hard? It is not as hard as somebody that lives in Mexico. Africa and so many other countries so be thankful and let's make a salad all right uh, aside from this so our recipe calls for mandarins I'm gonna use a fruit cocktail because I rather just have it everything the maraschino cherries are already in there um, so I mixed it in with the cream cheese and the whipped cream that has enough sweetness. I do love me some pineapples. So we are actually gonna use extra pineapples like it calls for. As if this salad could not get any better because it's 4th of July, we are gonna use blueberries to bring it up to life. And that's about a cup. So almost everything that you put in here is about a cup uh, into the salad. Now, to top off this amazing fruit salad, we're gonna add one cup of marshmallows and one cup of coconut. If you guys know me, you probably know how much I love coconut in almost any dish that I make, or by itself, or dry, or fresh. And piña coladas, it's good too. So this is probably why it's one of my favorite salads. So we're just gonna mix it in there. There's a cup of each of these. 
Ambrosia salad is an old, old school salad. Most people don't even make it, probably because it, there's nothing salad about it. Um, now, it has the tiny marshmallows. If you leave this in the fridge for a couple hours, they'll expand and make your um, salad even better. So, if I just blocked you guys with a can there, a lot of advertising. Here is the most delicious fruit salad ever, specially engineered for 4th of July, 2023. Gianna, would you like to try it? Sure, why not? Have you ever tried this? Hi, no, you never made it for me. I will go get the food. Oh, Ooh. do you want some pecans on it? Sure. So these should be probably a little bit chopped a little bit better, but it's okay. I do have a chopper, but we decided not to use it. But <laughs> you can use this or walnuts. I always prefer pecans over walnuts. So this is safe to say this is probably not a uh, not friendly salad. We don't have to use pecans. But well, there's also. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's just look here. I can taste the coconut. I like it. Mmm. It's really good. So good. Here you have it. Ambrosia salad with blueberries for 4th of July. And this is Gloria Miller. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, God bless America. It's Gloria Miller, people for sure to take care, guys.